I'm Amit Jala, Professor and Nebraska Extension Weed Management Specialist. I'm working with University of Nebraska Lincoln as a weed management expert. Uh, so my expertise is basically to provide um, research and extension network to our growers uh, about uh, weed management in corn, soybean, sorghum and popcorn. My father was a professor and my mother was a professor. They both were in different disciplines. Education was extremely important for us and since beginning I always have an interest in agriculture. Weed management was always the focus of my uh, career. Herbicide resistant weed is a major concern for U.S. agriculture, uh, particularly in agronomic crops like corn and soybean, uh, where we don't really have too much uh, crop diversity. About 530 weeds have evolved resistance to at least one herbicide globally. The problem is they are also very widespread. Uh, if I talk about Nebraska, we have about um, 8 to 10 million acres are infested with at least one herbicide resistant weed. Uh, in our corn and soybean production. A survey we did uh, indicated Palmer amaranth is a number one weed problem in our corn and soybean production across the state. We have been trying a number of methods for weed management and uh, using the precision sprayer which can detect weeds in real time and spray herbicide uh, can save a lot of chemical. All the growers they are applying herbicide in a broadcast application and some of the studies that we have completed has shown uh, somewhere between 75 to 95 percent of uh, herbicide savings when we apply herbicides uh, in burn down situation before planting crops as well as in post-emergence uh, applications where we are using uh, foliar active herbicides. In my opinion, the mass adoption of uh, precision sprayer uh, will help uh, to save a lot of uh, herbicides uh, in future, it can detect weeds in real time and save a lot of chemicals. If you apply herbicide with broadcast application, uh, you are applying everywhere compared with when we use precision sprayer and apply herbicide only when it is required. So that results in relatively less crop injury. We have some herbicides that are creating issues with uh, surface water and groundwater um, contamination. Whenever we use a precision sprayer, uh, we are not applying too much. By using precision sprayer, uh, we can save chemicals and save the environment. We have been working with Green Eye technology for last three years and uh, we have conducted a number of studies. So far, we have tested this technology for different purpose. Number one is uh, how much uh, chemicals we can save. Number two, how precise the technology is to detect the weeds in real time and applying herbicides. I was extremely impressed with the results that we have seen uh, because uh, even under the field conditions when sprayer is moving at uh, somewhere between 12 to 15 miles per hour speed, um, it has very excellent ability to detect weeds. Uh, even the weed is as small as like one centimeter tall from the ground. So basically we are talking about the seedling which is coming out of the ground can also be detected and then it can apply herbicide. Our experience was really excellent uh, when we use uh, foliar active non-residual herbicides. A lot of uh, pesticide industry is conducting research on herbicide discovery and sometimes they are seeing a lot of promise in some chemical but it never make to the market because it is extremely expensive to apply in broadcast application. But now with this precision sprayer uh, they just need a little bit to apply in an area where uh, weeds are present. So now they will able to buy the chemical which is expensive but it is required only in less area. The precision sprayer has a dual tank option where you can put different herbicides in different tank and then you can apply them separately but at the same time. When we mix dicamba with uh, grass killing herbicide like uh, clethodim or cethoxidim we have seen antagonistic effect uh, for controlling, uh, for example, grass weeds like volunteer corn and foxtail species. Uh, and the studies we have done with uh, green eye technology clearly indicated that when we use uh, both the chemicals and apply at the same time, uh, so growers don't need to go there two times. You have a system which can go to the field, which is taking several thousand images, uh, that means you have a very powerful information about the field that you are collecting. You can use that information to detect insects, to detect the disease. So in future, this technology can also be applied for target application of insecticides and fungicides. We have been doing this study where we are applying 
herbicides for controlling volunteer corn in soybean. That means the system is recognizing volunteer corn as a weed and soybean as a crop, which was very great for me to see. We get an opportunity to solve the real world problems that growers are facing uh, and also at the same time working with industry like Green Eye Technology where we can test the future of agriculture. So that makes my job really interesting. In future, uh, in my opinion, uh, this technology will be adopted by growers uh, because it is more precise and uh, will be more friendly to the planet. All this will help in overall integrated uh, management of herbicide-resistant weeds.